What's up guys, part two on my uh, update on my uh, 2001 Honda Accord. It's a VTEC, I am really, I love the VTEC so. So any of you guys can comment down below, what should I do to it? Should I boost it, should I turbo it, or should I just leave it the way it is? I'm gonna see if I can find me a cold air intake in the junkyard and see if it works, now I can put it in there. And I hope I can find one, it could be red or blue, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what else? I got a lot of things planned for this car. I got a little surprise for y'all for the headliner. And I've been up all day cleaning this car out because it was just filthy. I'm pretty sure you guys already seen my video already on YouTube. Which I have to upload it still. And um, one thing, I can't drive it right now because there's no insurance on it. And I don't have my license right now. All I have is an ID. But sometime this week, I might be getting my license. And when I do get my license and I get my insurance on the car, then I'll take you, I'll take you guys around the block for a little test drive video of it. And tell me, what's the best exhaust for a uh, 2001 Honda Accord? And it's a VTEC. I already don't know what kind of engine it has, but it doesn't really show the sticker. But I'll have to look tomorrow and see what kind of sticker it has, what kind of engine does it have. Because it's a VTEC. So I was like, okay, perfect. Um, and tomorrow the lady's gonna bring me the other rim for the car because right now it's sitting on a donut. So I was like, fuck. But no, it has some really nice rims on it. But as soon as I wash it up and I uh, uh, buff up, uh, restore the headlights and everything, I would get some new headlights. But I was like, nah, it's not really worth it. So just might as well just spend like $10 on a headlight restor restoration and just buff it up, you know. My dad got a buffer, so I was like, just to buff it out. But I'll show you guys an update on the car tomorrow. I left the keys in ignition because I disconnect the battery because I don't want to have to deal with that dumbass key again because whenever I stick the key in the ignition, I have to jiggle it like 50 times to be able to turn and I don't like doing that. So if any of you guys can comment down below, any of you Honda fans can comment down below uh, to tell me what what is the problem with that that like you stick the key in the ignition and you have to jiggle the ignition like 70 fucking times or whatever to be able to turn the key or to start the car and yeah I really do hate that so I was like mm -mm, I can't deal with that and then my friends are probably gonna be like what the hell bro oh and I haven't told my friends yet the doors are stuck <laughs> just from the back but I just watched a YouTube video on YouTube just now on how to get the rear doors it's a four door car how to get the doors to get unstuck. Apparently, it's stuck on safety lock. Both damn doors. I'm like, fuck. But hopefully, I'm praying I can get that easy. Because I just looked up on YouTube. Sorry, guys. I just looked up a video on YouTube on how to do it. They say you got to pull off the uh, the rear cushion. The rear bottom cushion. You got to pull that out. And it's held in by 10 millimeter bolts. I think one or two. I'm not sure. And then the side panels on the side of the seat. Like, like right here, the side panels. Say so, hey, this is the seat, and this is the panel that's right here stuck. So I have to remove that, and I have to drill a hole in the the panel on this side that goes like curves like that into the door. Drill a hole like that and stick a something in there, and then pull up the safety lock and then open the door. So hopefully I'm praying that works tomorrow. If it doesn't, then fuck. But hopefully I'm praying it does work. Right now my cousin, I hooked up a new radio. I put a new radio on it. Because the other one it had, the factory one, it sucked ass. and It would not accept my cassette adapter. So it got stuck in there. So I was like, man, fuck it. I took out a lot of stuff. So tomorrow you'll probably be seeing some sounds in there. Right now my cousin is going to, uh, not right now, but tomorrow it's about 3.15 in the morning. And it's Friday. We're doing it on a Friday. Like they always say, on a Tuesday. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, guys. I'll give you guys more updates on the car tomorrow. See what's all gonna happen to it. Mm. I mean, get this: fifteen hundred bucks for a car. Like when my mom saw it, she was kind of upset about it, but then she got over it. She's like, "Hey, it's your first car, so I can't really judge you for what you get." I mean, I can't really um, get mad about what you get. I was like, "All right, it's fine." So, the lady gave me the keys and everything, fifteen hundred, and I have to get the title still. 
and it's got a clean title and everything. I was like, okay, perfect. But as soon as I put insurance and I get my license, I'll give you guys a test drive video, and I'll probably give you guys a zero to sixty video too, and an engine shot, and an exhaust shot. Hmm. Another thing for you Honda fans that are out there, um, what's the best exhaust for a two thousand one Honda Accord VTEC? If any of you guys can comment down below, any of you Honda fans, Accord fans, can comment down below and tell me what's the best exhaust, feel free to comment down below. I will, I will reply. And um, so tomorrow I got a lot of things to do to the car. I got to see if I can try to get a used windshield for it. And um, a little surprise for the headliner, but the headliner is not too bad. It's sagging down a little bit from the rear, from the rear. But that's nothing. The seats are clean. The carpets are kind of dirty, but it doesn't hurt to shampoo it and uh, fix that front bumper. And that's it. Oh, and tomorrow, guys, I'm gonna give you guys a junkyard video tomorrow. So, and the only thing this car needs oil change, but that's gonna be. Probably tomorrow, probably. I can ask my dad to take me to the auto and go get some oil for it. Um, what else? Okay, from what I'm noticing, it needs two things. The windshield and an oil change. So, we're going to get the oil out of, out of the way. And then the last thing is probably going to be the wind... Oh, sorry. <laughs> the last thing is probably going to be the windshield. So. so, that's two things wrong with it. Just the windshield and the oil. That's it. Because if I don't change the windshield and I get this car inspected, it's not gonna pass. So I might as well just say fuck it and just go get that replaced. I mean, here at my buddy's at the junkyard, he's, he's gonna charge me a hundred bucks just to get the windshield replaced. So I was like, eh, it don't really matter because I don't want to drive this thing to school with a fucked up windshield. So I was like, and then get pulled over. So I mean, brake lights work and everything, lights work and everything. <laughs> it's just that what really bothers me is that windshield and that ignition. So. I could probably get that fixed. And all I gotta do is talk to one of, one of my mechanics. And if I get, do get the doors open, guys, I'll make sure you guys I give you a review about that tomorrow. So yeah. Mm, what else? Hmm. Oh, and the car's name is gonna be called Simply Project. So oh, dragging up the seven minutes already. Damn. I mean, the car's in good condition. It's got straight body and everything. Um, nothing wrong with the engine or anything. It's just that windshield and the oil, and that's about it. Just change the oil. That's all I gotta do. Clean the engine compartment a little bit and we'll call it a day. And I did not upload a video on how to put aftermarket radio on this car, so I didn't really want to because I didn't hook it up right, the speakers, because it was kind of confusing a little bit. But I did get the speakers on the passenger side to work, but the driver's side, I don't know which wire is which, so my, my cousin's going to come up here tomorrow and rewire the whole stereo. And he's pretty good at it, so while he does that, I'm actually going to do the door handle, and, the, and then actually, when my parents leave in the morning because they go to work like around 5, no wait, my dad, he works nights, and um, mom leaves to work at four in the morning I think and my dad comes home like around five so I'll make sure I get a um, probably some I'm waiting so it gets a little bit daylight because it's kind of cool out it's kind of cool out in the morning so I might as well just bring some light outside or whatever and then just I'm gonna try 